Hello, Valley Doobers, and welcome to part 27 of the Leaf Green Nuzlocke. In this part, we are battling the Elite Four, and I do have quite a bit to say before I actually start. So, Connor, I'm reading your comments. I know I'm not responding, but YouTube will not let me reply. I, I, I don't know why it lets me reply to anybody else, but not you. Anyway, this will be my 70th video, and it's been one, well, now it's like 106 days from when I first uploaded a video on here, so, so let's get this started. We'll, we'll lead with T-Ball, everybody's level 56, this is Laurelie, so hopefully we can smash her down to the ground, and I'm sorry for taking so long, some IRL stuff kind of came up, and it, it just, it hasn't been a good time for actually uploading if that makes sense to anybody. I probably should have put Thunderbolt on T-Bolt, but eh. Shockwave should do quite a bit of damage. That's not as much as I was expecting, but... Without Meat Eater, we don't really have much plan for Laurelie, so not much I can do. And Dugong's down. took quite a while to get everybody up to the level. I guess we had to leave T-Bolt in. I just rare candy T-Bolt up there. Because it wasn't even worth it. It's like... That is a lot of levels to go up. Because we caught him at, what, level 50? Give me that neck! And Slowbro is down. That's what I like to see. I guess we gotta leave T-Bolt in for Lapras, too. T-Bolt is, is losable at this point. Like, I, I don't see any need to keeping him. But I'd rather not lose him, just because. Now, Ice Beam. I don't know if that's gonna kill T-Bolt. Ooh. And Lapras has a berry. A citrus, nonetheless. We're gonna send Canada out there, and Canada's pretty much just gonna try to wall out an attack or two. Shouldn't do a lot of damage. Dugong's pretty wally, and yeah, and it's not very effective. If I were to heal T-Bolt, I probably should have bought more potions. Thought I had more than that, but confuse Ray. Yeah, Lapras ain't got nothing to do. So. Granted, none of my moves are going to be that strong either. But we'll just go with an Ice Beam. Of course. Canada hits itself. Body Slam. Ooh. Well, as long as it's not a crit, we should be fine. We'll use Ice Beam again. Like, no damage. I gotta play safe. I wanna say I bought full restorers. I really hope I did. Oh god, I did. I did. And I even brought max potions. Okay. This is getting scared. You've got to be kidding me. And it gets paralyzed. Ah, oh, water absorb! Ugh. Well, I'm predicting it's going to use Body Slam again. Do I want to switch to T-Bolt? This is ridiculous. Whatever, we're switching T-Balls out there. Maybe we'll get lucky. We'll use Thunder Wave. And maybe... Lapras won't be able to attack. If 
if not, we can get another attack in Confuse Ray. See, that? that's not... that's not that good. I think we're gonna switch T-Bolt right out, though. Because we really don't want to lose him at this moment. If that makes sense. Oh, we could have kept him out there, but it doesn't make any difference. We use Rest to get rid of that para Paralysis and heal Dugon. We can use a full heal to get rid of the sleep, but... I'm gonna switch T-Ball back out and go for a Shockwave. And Shockwave never misses, so there's no fear in... in that regard. I don't know though. We're gonna be ballsy. Hopefully he's paralyzed or he misses or something. Or he goes for Confuse Ray again. Oh boy. And T Bolt down. But there's nothing in the party that can like take out this Lapras. Go for a brick break because I think fighting is super effective against ice. Yeah, which is something I should have thought about before, but didn't. So we're down a T bolt, but that's not the end of the world. I don't believe Cloister is part water, but I could be wrong. So we're just gonna send Guardian out there. I highly doubt I've got to kill Guardian in one hit anyway. Because it's more of like a wall. Using hail. T ball being dead, that's gonna suck. Protect. I hate fights like this. Like, I'm gonna protect my cloister. You're only gonna protect it for one more turn. You're gonna do nine damage because of hail. You're not gaining anything. You're just. Prolonging the fight. Should have went for the attack. And Cloister's down. And we got a Jinx, which Flamethrower should be at a slaughter. Hail continues to fall. Come on, let's do Flamethrower. Jinx should... really? Jinx is ballier than I was expecting. And does look like he's confused or put you to sleep. Now I'm thinking... Lorelei hasn't used any healing items. So she's probably going to... We're gonna heal Guardian and go for a flamethrower next turn. Yeah. Full restore, and that gets for the burn too. But the hail stopped. And we can just go for another flamethrower. Maybe I should went for quick attack first, but Ice Punch. Yeah, Jinx has got nothing to use. Jinx is down. So we beat Lorelei. We lost one Pokemon. But that's not the end of the world. We have enough of a team to where we should be able to pretty much take care of the rest. So. Technically, we have as much as they do now. So. We're gonna go in the next door right now. Just so I can see if it's Bruno. I think it's Bruno, but yeah, it's Bruno. Let's see. be healed, and Dugong needs to be woken up. Well, Canada. I'm not used to its nickname yet, so. Let's move the full restores up there. That way, they're all ready. And 
no, no, that's good. No, I wanted to go up. How many times I've done that on this nest lock? Now I think he starts with a water type. A rock type. I think he starts with an onyx. So we're gonna leave with Canada. And if not, we're gonna get Canada right out there and switch with Billy Gal. So, Bruno's going down. One down, four more to go. Yeah, he led with his Onyx, which has a four times weakness against water. So Surf should pretty much be able to kill it, especially being as Onyx has a low special defense stat anyway. Onyx is gone. So we got Onyx out of the way. Got Monchan's coming out here. I'm gonna send Billy Gal out there. I think he has like Thunder Punch, but I think Billy Gal's special defense stat is high enough to survive that. So we should be good to kill him on Chan at least. Yeah. Rock Tomb. That that's different though. Okay, he's still alive. His speed fell, but hopefully he's still faster. Yeah. Now he'll probably switch out to his other Onyx or Golem or whatever his other rock Pokemon is. Before he's sending out Machamp. Which really sucks. The moves do we have on Triple H? We don't have any stat. All well, status moves. The only person who does is Guardian. Yeah, we'll burn him. And that should. That should help. It'll lower his attack, and so we won't have to worry about Billy Gal fainting. Will a wisp, and then we'll go for a confuse ray if we've got enough time. Scary face. The only thing I don't like about him using scary face is that I don't know how much damage he's gonna do if he attacks. So we're gonna use confuse ray. We're still faster. Wow. I was expecting him to be faster at that point. Whatever. My Machoke is probably faster. So, good, he hurt himself. And he's burnt. And now we're gonna heal Billy Gal. Because we don't want Billy Gal to faint. Because we still have a Hitmon Lee at worst. And at best, we still got him a champ to kill. So, he hurt himself again. And he has a Citrus Berry. Thing. Yeah, but the burn will push him back down. I don't need to heal anybody else. Now let's think here. He's probably got thick fat, and he has a high special defense stat anyway. We'll go for quick attack. We got a crit. Give me that neck. Now if he hits himself, he's done. Oh, he used scary face again. But the burn might kill him. Okay, he's gonna heal himself, so we're gonna go for a flamethrower real fast. Try to knock him down as much as possible before he gets another turn. <sighs> Give me that neck! Geez, if I knew flamethrower was gonna do that much, I wouldn't have freaking dilly dallied. My goodness. We got Onyx coming out here. That's what Canada's for. Surf should pretty much take care of it. Can't believe I forgot about Water Absorb with the Lapras. That was really stupid of me. And I don't know if Hitmonlee is the more defensive one. Or if it's him on Chan, but I think him on Lee is the more offensive one. So one wing attack might kill him. Regardless, he's not gonna be able to do like any damage. Oh, he's gonna have his fighting moves. His blaze kick wasn't introduced yet. Well it was, but I don't think him on Lee could learn it yet. I think it was a blaze kick exclusive still. So Bruno had no chance. His team's not designed for that. He can't look at me when he loses because he's a loser. Now we got Agatha. And everybody's healed. 
We'll lead with Billy Gal. HHH is like useless. As is kick asses. It's, it's down to these three again. So. Yep, you're Agatha. Oak. Yeah, decades. You're old. I get it. Let's battle. I'm pretty sure she's going down. I can't imagine any of them really giving us any trouble until we get to Lance. Yeah, Gengar. And I don't think you have an electric move. So. We should have bite him pretty hard. I'm gonna use Wing Attack this turn. Oh, we flinched. We'll use Wing Attack still. I just wanna see if Wing Attack's doing more damage than Bite against this Gengar. It's not. And all he has is Shadow Punch. Which signifies to me that he has no move that's going to kill Billy Gal. Of course, that's the first Gengar. I think there's another. There's a Haunter. But the Haunter shouldn't be able to kill us anyway. Especially not if the Gengar went down that easy. We'll go for Bite again, just for the flinch. Or the Gimme That Neck. See, it's getting scary. We've, we've gotten, what, three crits already? And I'm sorry, I, I don't like those odds. The more crits we get, that means there's more crits that they're going to have to get. I wasn't sure she'd heal, so I went for the attack. But of course she did. It's her weakest Pokemon, you might as well heal it. Okay, we woke up. We used Bite. He's not even in yellow, but he flinched. So we're gonna go for Wing Attack. Just to break it up. And plus, I think Wing Attack, yeah. Because it gets a stab. So it being super... It not being super effective doesn't really matter. I got a Gengar. I think we're gonna bring Guardian in. That's what I'm thinking. Guardian should be able to handle herself. They got this. It's level 58. We're gonna go for Will-O-Wisp. And we missed. That's that's really not good. But Gengar missed, so we're, we're all good. Will-O-Wisp hits. And Gengar will be burnt. I don't know if Ghost is a physical or a special attack, but regardless, Gengar is burnt. So we can pretty much guarantee he's going to die at some point. Which is exactly the point. That's why we used it. Flame Thrower didn't kill it, but it put us to sleep with Hypnosis. Now, I don't know if this Gengar's plan is to use Dream Eater. But if it is, I think we're going to, like, slaughter it. Because we're going to wake up. And it won't be able to attack if it's using Dream Eater. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, well, we should be fine. Yeah. It's hurt by its burn, and it's not damaged enough to where she's going to heal it, so we're going to go for another flamethrower. And that should kill it. And we're down the Gengar. So, that's three of our Pokemon down. See, she's not much of a problem at all. A Golbat. And this is what we brought Canada along for. That and for surfing, so. And I really don't think Golbat's going to be able to do anything. Ice Beam should take care of it. It'll survive, but yeah. But it's too low to actually do any damage. Air Cutter. We'll use Aurora Beam because it's going to heal. And Aurora Beam is less powerful, and especially with the stab being in effect, so it won't put it as low. So even if she had more healing items, she wouldn't use them. And if she didn't have more healing items, it would kill Golbat anyway. That's what you got to do with Pokemon games if they heal. Use a weaker move to put them at the health. You gotta manipulate the system. That's good Pokemon playing. And we got an Arbok. We ain't got nothing ground. So we're just... I think we're just gonna go for straight Raticate biting its face off. And that way Kick-Asses can actually do something. Oh, I forgot about Intimidate. We'll use Hyper Fang, see how much damage it does. I doubt it's going to do a lot, and he'll still be in green, yep. Screech. Well, that scares me, but I gotta imagine a Poison move's coming up. I'm just going to send HHH out there. 
and hopefully HHH can wall out a sludge bomb. He did, but barely. And our box faster, so next turn we'd have to use Cross Chop. There's no point using Brick Break being as he is faster. And it's not very effective. I didn't do my homework. Run us in Billy Gal out there because we can heal Triple H, but then Triple H will be low again anyway. And he's not going to do much damage, being as all of his moves are the same type. So, yeah. We'll use Wing Attack. Arbok probably doesn't have anything but Poison type moves and maybe Wrap. Iron Tail, but it's not going to be very effective. So, you know, it was. My Pokemon knowledge is really failing me this part. But that's just that way Billy Gal doesn't die. I really... Iron Tail has low accuracy. I think we can risk it. Plus, it only did 50 damage, and I... Yeah, we're faster. I could have just went for the neck then, but... Better safe than sorry on a Nuzlocke. Everybody should know that. Yep, we are special. Oh, we have the Omelette coin, I forgot. Oh, we're gonna run along. Please tell me we don't have to automatically battle him. I don't remember what he leads with. We're gonna heal up, just in case. Again, always heal up. I don't care how little damage has been done. If you're battling the Elite Four, a Nuzlocke, you have to. Honestly, if you're battling the Elite Four at all, you should heal up. I'm thinking he leads... Let, let's name out his Pokemon. He's got, what, like, two Dragonairs? Or does he have Dragonites? I, I think we gotta lead with Canada. The only thing Canada would have to be worried about is the Charizard? But I don't think he still has a Charizard, so we, we should be good. Yep, yeah, they are mythical, but it doesn't matter because I got a Dugong. I think Ice is one of the coolest types, personally. I mean, really, the only things that beat would beat Dragon Gyarados, damn it! The only things that would beat Dragons before was Ice and Dragon, and I mean, you can't rely on. He has Shockwave, doesn't he? But it's not gonna be strong enough. We're gonna Ice Beam and see how much damage it does. But now there's Fairy, so. Oh, them hex! Oh, why? Bite barely did anything. We're gonna switch to Aurora Beam for PP's sake, really. We have two ice moves, neither are gonna do that much. So there's really no point. It seems Gyarados doesn't have anything that's going to really damage Canada, so we should be okay doing this. Hyper Beam. That might be bad. That might be really bad. That might be bad. That might be bad. That might be bad. And he's gonna have to recharge this turn. Got anything that can beat him? We don't even have a rock type. Because a rock type would be able to wall out the hyper beam at least. And Canada's the walliest of my team, I think. So we're gonna heal. He has to wait this turn, so... That was a smart move. Heal. We're gonna go back to Aurora Beam. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to use a healing item sooner or later, so... Like this turn, prop. Yep. So, that was just playing smart. As long as he doesn't get a crit, Canada should be fine. I'd rather not put anybody out like that. Okay, we got another crit. That's what, four crits for us? I don't think there's anything HHH is needed for. So we can throw him away. I, I just don't want to run the risk of him using Hyper Beam, getting a crit, and completely slaughtering Canada, and then we have nothing to use for the entire fight. 
He's using Dragon Rage, which is about 40 damage. Which shouldn't be a big deal. We'll use Revenge, which should be stronger because he attacked. Yeah. I'm gonna go for Cross Trap, which I think would still be stronger. The Hyper Beam might kill HHH, but it doesn't matter. We'll have another turn. Holy shit! HHH, hold on. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, Triple H! I was really not expecting that, to be honest. I was counting Triple H is dead. I don't know how much help he's going to be after this, but I mean, still. I'm going to go for Ice Beam. He might be faster, but Ancient Power shouldn't kill us. And Ice Beam should kill him because it's four times effective. So. Now we got a crit! That's five crits! Ah. Uh. A dragon air. I can have a water move. And a dragon move. But I really want to heal. So I think we're gonna send Billy Gal out there. Just pretty much to survive for two turns. Max potion. We don't really need to heal Triple H, he won't be used again. But... It's heat wave. Yeah, that, that's not an issue. And what we'll try to do is we'll try to break through and confuse him. I think that's gonna... Yeah. We'll go for Wing Attack. Outrage. Stronger than I thought it was. But it's still defensively weak. And it'll probably confuse itself by the end. So. I don't know if that can work. Will it confuse itself? Doesn't matter, we got another crit. That's six crits in the Elite Four. And now another Dragon Air. But this is what Canada's here for. Canada's here for these moments when we're battling dragons. So, as long as we're fast, we should be good. Because if we would use T-Wave, we'd be really screwed. And... Dragonair survived? That sucked. Use Aurora Beam. Okay, Dragonair's done. That really sucked. Because here comes Dragonite. Dragonite will probably be faster, and if it uses Hyper Beam and kills Canada, we're screwed. We, we gotta leave him in there. No longer protected by Safeguard. We're gonna go for Ice Beam, and we're faster than a Dragonite, and it's four times effective. And he survived, but he's frozen! Oh, snap! <sighs> Don't defrost! Yes! And he's got a citrus berry so he won't heal. Oh my god! Aurora Beam, finish it off! Oh my god! Go Canada! We got like three close calls in that battle. Okay, we gotta battle our rival, but we gotta heal first, <laughs> especially Triple H. Look at that, six health. And I'm just saying, if I would have trained him to 55, I'm pretty sure he would have died in that fight. Pretty sure. The hacks that match, though. Like really, we got really lucky with that because Safeguard just fell, and the moment it did, we froze him. Frozen, we freeze him. We put him to. I, I, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the rival leads with Pidgeot. So we're gonna lead with Dugong. It's time to beat Blue Down. 
And by blue, I mean ash. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're great. You're the one-leg champion, but I'm better than you. Hopefully. <laughs> It'll be pretty awkward to get this far and lose. Especially after all the close ca encounters, but... To be fair, though, we've gotten six crits. They, they should be lined up for some crits now. We'll go for Ice Beam. And we're faster than a Pidgeot. <laughs> go, Dugong! Please kill it, please kill it. Oh, he survived. Sand attack. That's your plan? Sand attack? Go for another ice beam. Of course we missed. Of course. Aerial ace. That's not gonna kill us. We're gonna go for an aurora beam. Because I don't want to run out of PP. Just in case. And we got a crit! Seven crits! Seven crits. Hacks twice. A ride on. And I know that's why we pretty much have Dugong, but the sand attack will still be in effect. I think Triple H should be able to do some damage to him. I think. I really hope he should be faster. Brick Break should do quite a bit of damage, but he'll be a wall and should, yeah. Rock Tomb, that's not going to do a lot of damage. Rock isn't super effective against fighting. Yeah, my speed fell, so we'll still go for Brick Break. Yep, we're still faster. Rock Pokemon are typically slow. There's your Pokemon Pro Chip right there. Not to mention I've been training Triple H on Dodrio, or Dod Doduos, Pidgeotos, Pidgeys, Rattatas, Spearows, and Fearows. So he's probably got a lot of EVs for that. I'm gonna go for a quick Hyper Fang, hopefully kill this Alakazam, like we have like the three other Alakazams we fought. He survived, but he used Reflect. We'll go for another Hyper Fang. He stayed alive. We'll go for Strange, because he's gonna heal. No, so we don't have to worry about the flinch. We, we really don't need the flinch, but we need the accuracy right now. So we're going for Strength. Well, we've had a crit! Oh my god! What is that, eight crits? Eight crits? Oh my god! Executor. Well, we could go for Billy Gal here. But Executor's part Psychic, but also Reflect is still up. So we're gonna go for Guardian. Of course, we have nothing to beat as Blastoise. That might be a problem. Because it's kind of why we had T-Bolt. Flamethrower should kill Executor. If not, he'll be low, and he'll probably use, like, Light Screen. So. Sleep Powder? You freaking douche. I don't think he's gonna use it again, personally. Egg Bomb. I don't know how much damage Egg Bomb does. Apparently enough. But we're faster, and Executor's down. So what does he have left? He has a starter. And something else. Have we seen a fire type yet? Okay. Sending out Blastoise. He probably has an ice move. So Billy Gal would be in danger. Canada wouldn't really be able to do any damage. We'll send Triple H out there. We can lose Triple H, and I don't think Blastoise can do that much damage to him anyway. Granted, look at that level. Hydro Pump, but he missed! I'm telling you, the hacks are with us this match. Well, this Elite Four in general. Hydro Pump again. But it shouldn't... Ooh! Okay, Triple H is dead! Um... We're gonna send Billy Gal out there and try to confuse him. Confusion with the Hydro Pump, which is stupid. Surf is a much better move than Hydro Pump. At least in single battles. But... Hopefully he gets himself where he misses. Or he hits. 
and we might be in trouble. Okay, good. We're not dead. We can heal. And if he keeps using Hydro Pump, sooner or later he's gonna miss. And we have enough healing put items to wall him out. Plus he's confused, and he finally hits himself. Barely did any damage. I'm gonna go for Poison Fang, hoping for the poison. Because if we get the poison, it'll really, like, it won't kill him, but it'll wear him out. See, Blast? I, I didn't realize Blastoise was this good. But see, this was why I had T-Bolt in the party to begin with. Because I figured we lost Meat Eater. We needed something to beat Blastoise. Now, I'm gonna go for an all-out wing attack, which will hopefully do more damage. And he snapped out of confusion. Hydro Pump hits. Now, my guess is he's going to heal. So, yeah. Billy Gal barely hangs on. And he's healing. I probably shouldn't have went for wing attack. I probably should have went for another Confuse Ray. But in the off chance he didn't heal, it would really help us. So. Hopefully he misses and he hits again. This is really getting bad. We're gonna heal straight up again because he's not missing. This was why I didn't like all the crits we got earlier. It's too horrifying. Oh, now he's using Skull Bash, and we healed. We, we have to attack him. Poison Fang. Or does it not work like that? Yes, he got poisoned! Skull Bash. Hopefully Billy Al holds on. <sighs> okay, Blastoise hurt himself. It's the poison. And we're going for another Confuse Ray. It seems like he... His Blastoise is basically hit hard or don't hit at all. So, the confusion will help and the poison will gradually kill him anyway. Rain Dance. That'll make his Hydro Pump stronger. We're gonna heal this turn. He's confused, but Rain Dance will make Hydro Pump do more damage. And I don't want to run that risk, personally. But really suck we lose Billy Gal now, because we already lost Key Ball. We'd have no flying type. Bite. He used Bite. Rain continues to fall. Poison won't put him in red. So we're gonna heal one more time. For, for safety, really. Hopefully he hits himself, or misses. Something. He hit himself, that's great. Rain continues to fall. Hurt by Poison. Even without T-Bolt, we still managed to take him down. Meat Eater would be so proud. That was all Billy Gal, wasn't it? <laughs> My god! And then we got an Arcanine. But the Arcanine's probably not going to do shit to Canada. Because who can? And come on, Canada took down a Dragonite. Intimidate, but that doesn't intimidate me. Extreme speed, that might be bad. It might be. I don't think it's that bad. Surf, and it, it was it still raining? Rain continues to fall. We're going for another attack. Okay, he killed him. But the rain's still falling, so the Surf will still get the boost. Maybe a crit? I don't know. We'll find out. He's in the yellow again, the rain stopped, and we're going for another Surf. He's healing again, but this time, because the rain stopped, the water boost won't be there. So, Surf won't put him low enough to where he'll heal again. We're going to go for another Surf. Hopefully Extreme Speed doesn't kill Canada. And it didn't. Come on, Surf, kill him. Come on. Oh! And he's got extreme speed. We could go for an attack, but if he uses extreme speed again, Canada's dead. So, yeah, he's out of healing items.
and my foot is out of consciousness right now. I wasn't expecting the Elite Four to take 40 minutes. Come on, hold on, Canada. Surf! Yes! Whew. Okay, we got very lucky. Very, very lucky. But we did it. We beat the Elite Four and the champion. And we only lost two Pokemon. Two! Why did you lose? Because you're not me! You did make mistakes raising your Pokemon, because they weren't raised by me! I am the new Pokemon League champion. You need to learn to admit it. What, Professor Oak? Yeah, I won. I'm the new Pokemon League champion. <laughs> yeah, I left with that Charmander and he fainted almost immediately. Yeah, I would have came when I heard I beat the Elite Four too. Loser. Yeah, you don't love your Pokemon and you don't trust them. <laughs> Bam! Never gonna be Pokemon League champ again until I come back to battle you. Yeah, me and my Pokemon are best buds. That's what a Nuzlocke does to you. It makes you guys best buds. They love me. They love me just like I love them. They're warriors. Yeah, I worked hard. Yeah, get up on there. Yeah, yeah, we beat them Elite Four and that champ and the champ and the champ. The Elite Four and the Champ and the Champ Canada Billy Cow Gordian Kick Ass Triple H <laughs> Zapdos T Ball I'm by nicknames until Zapdos came up and I'm like, he has a nickname? <laughs> Triple H died in a fight, right? And there's me, the best Pokemon champion ever, getting his ass dead at by a machoke. Took me 59 hours. Bye, ass. Yep. Thank you, Professor Oak. I know you love me more than your grandson. I know. You ain't gotta say it. Yeah. I beat the game. One Nuzlocke. I had to run away. Look at me run. Look at me run. I wonder what I'm running after. Yeah, remember when we went through there? Was that episode like 24? We ran through there. We ended up going through Victory Road. It was probably 23 then. Yeah, look at all those Japanese people. They made this Pokemon game possible. <laughs> Can't believe we won. I was so scared of that. <laughs> the moment T-Bolt died. Just remember when we went through there? Episode 1. That's how long it's been. Watanabe. Uno. Oshita. Sugimori. Yoshida. Ichinos. Masuda. Masuda method. Ichinos. Go, Ichinos. Charizard. Who, who is that? I ain't never seen that Pokemon. I ain't seen that Pokemon before in my life. <laughs> Masuda. Nishino. Ota. Seto. Well, anyway, I guess this video is pretty much over. I'll let the credits keep running because, you know, we earned those credits. We stuck through. We nuzlocked the crap out of ass. And we won. So, I'm pretty much left with the decision. I don't know if the game's going to let me continue to do 4, 5, 6, and 7 Island, but I really don't want to do them anyway. And technically, if this was a Gen 1 game, the game would be over now. All we'd have left to do is catch Mewtwo, and straight up, that's a Venusaur, yeah. But straight up, there's really no reason for me to catch Mewtwo. I don't feel like doing another Legendary. We just had two Legendary parts back to back. Just have an Elite Four episode that's 45 minutes long to go and catch another Legendary. So I'm thinking the Nuzlocke is done. I know I can continue it. I know I probably should, but I don't feel like it, okay? We're, we're done, okay? We we fought through everything, and we made it this far. So, I think, personally, because if this was red, the game would be over. If this was blue, the game would be over. So, I'm counting this as completion, because like if I was doing Gen 3, I wouldn't force myself to catch the Reggies. It's stupid. 
So, why am I going to force myself to run in the Mewtwo? So, the game is pretty much over. If you've enjoyed the Nuzlocke, or at least the finale, because this, this was pretty exciting, leave me a like, because... Yeah. That way I know. Um, comment, because you gotta admit, that was so close. So many close calls. Like, Triple H survived with 9 health? No, he, he survived with 6. And, what was it, Nine Tails survived with 9? Somebody survived with 9! No, it was Canada. So, you know, there's that. Not much, we got, what, 7, 8 crits in the Elite Four? And I got none on us. <laughs> Which was pretty great. Pretty great. A Pikachu, I mean, that makes perfect sense. But, um... I have decided that a Gen 2 Nuzlocke would probably be the way to go after this. Also, the best Pokemon Generation Battle series will be pretty much over after two more episodes. The next episode will be the final episode, and then after that I'm going to have a, like a conclusion episode. So, really that's done too. So I've decided what I'm going to, what I think I'm going to do is do a best Pokemon by type. So, like, I'll have normal type, what my, you know, top five favorite normal types are. Because I was doing a top five series for a while. Yeah, see, that's why I assumed we'd be screwed over. Because... Yeah. So, it won't let us continue, even if we wanted to. So, we, we already went through all this. So the video's over. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut the video. If you've enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. I doubt anybody's sharing, like. But it was pretty awesome, and I can say that I have officially beaten a Nuzlocke. And I also have finished a series on my YouTube channel, a game. So that's pretty exciting, too. But, um, yeah. I got nothing else to say, so peace out, Homeskillets.